Hello everyone, Digfig here, and welcome. In this Borderlands 3 item overview video, we are going to be going over the Shredifier. Now, this is a legendary assault rifle. Now, what makes it a legendary assault rifle is speed kills. What is this a reference to? I'm pretty sure it's a reference to this gun itself, just because holy crap does this thing shoot really fast and everything about it is speed, speed, speed. Except for the alternate fire, I guess, technically. If you guys think it's from something else, please let me know in the comments. That'd be freaking awesome because I would love to know what you guys think it is from. Now, what does this actually do for this gun? Well, oh boy, it has an insane rate of fire here of 16.17 on mine. Ridiculous. It also has a spool up time of just about absolutely nothing, which makes this gun feel freaking great. And it also gives it a very large magazine. As you can see now, the one I have rolled stock with 100 and with my bonuses, I have like 139 plus rounds. I love this gun, it is fun. Now, as for the way it looks, I mean, look at this thing. It is like the most perfect perfectionist of Vladoff ever made. It's like these gold plate inlays, um, it's black, with like little Tron yellow lights, the ammo counter, I mean, this is like a masterpiece of their uh, stock hold, I think. So it'd be like something they bring out to just impress all the investors, you know, that kind of deal. Now, for my personal thoughts and overview, I mean, I kind of gave it away a little, but holy crap, does this thing shred. I love it. I wish I had one sooner. I wish I knew about it before all the black, black, flak patches and nerfs. Um, cause having infinite ammo with this thing would be absolutely fucking ridiculous. I just swore because this thing is just freaking nuts. Um, the alternate this fire the on this gun it. is the bipod. We'll hop up here as one guy. Put down the bipod. And what does the bipod do? It makes your aimer come in, get way more accurate, and it makes you way more stable, but it does slow down your movement speed. So it's kind of like a trade-off. But, I mean, with the bipod down, this thing's a freaking laser beam. Um, it just beams everything in the head. Um, this is one of the easiest the guns I've ever cleared this zone with. Like, up there with, like, uh, Lucian's Call and freaking just all those super meta broken guns. This thing, I think, is right up there with it. Just short of having infinite ammo. I mean, this thing is ridiculous. I took it to Grave Ward on True Vault Hunter mode a few times just to see how it did. And it's one and a half magazines for me to kill him. Just pretty darn good. Um, I think this gun could definitely scale all the way up into Mayhem 3 easily at the rate I'm killing these uh, true ball hunter mods. Um, especially if you were on like an infinite ammo Mose or, ah, like I said, uh, Flak. Flak's rocking this thing pretty hard. Um, I have only seen it in Fire Elemental, so if you guys have it in a different one, please let us all know because I would really appreciate that. And if it does roll in any elemental, this, this could purpose. be also a good gun just to keep on Amara. Just use the elemental damage proc to do tons and tons and tons of damage. You guys can see here, like I'm using a fire one versus fire mobs, and it is just absolutely rick rolling. Um, I have almost no downsides to this. Even the reload here isn't that long for a 139 round magazine that just shreds everything. And for the second time ever in this entire video series, I am moving on to this third spawn just because of how ridiculously fast and crazy this thing kills. I don't know why I called it third. I am pretty sure this is way beyond the third spawn, but you can see there, like that was a badass. Um, just absolutely melted. I still have to be able to hit things to kill them and show off in the video. But um, short overview of this gun, it is insanely fun to use. It shoots ridiculously fast. It feels um, incredibly good to use. Um, it sounds good. The handling is good. The aiming is good. I just everything about this gun is good. And the damage is off the charts. I would consider this basically a meta gun currently. Um, maybe slightly on the lower part of a meta gun, but like definitely 100% meta viable. Now, if you're looking to get one of these for yourself, I am 99% sure it's an open world drop, but I got mine in the Cistern of Slaughter, so you can go there for a guaranteed place to get it. If you guys got yours from somewhere else, let us all know in the comments so people have more options to go find this thing, because this is definitely a worth having and probably worth keeping in your bank, most certainly. So I know they give us super limited inventory slots, and I have a whole bunch of alts characters just full of different guns, because that's how they wanted it. 
But anyways, guys, I really do appreciate you stopping by. It does mean a whole lot. I have to apologize about the washing machine in the background, but again, I live in the basement, so I share a room with the washing machine. And if you like this video, there should be a playlist appearing above me with a whole bunch of videos just like this one. And if you like some of those, think about subscribing, liking, commenting, becoming part of the community, being an awesome person overall, watching all of my videos front to back to help my analytics. And I will see you guys in the next video. Dick V out.